Let's talk about record cleaning by cavitation. So cavitation is a process by which tiny little bubbles are agitated at a very high frequency and they push up against whatever it is you're cleaning and they actually are little scrubbing bubbles. So if you take a piece of jewelry to the jeweler, he puts it in the cavitation vat, turns it on and it comes out completely clean and gets into all the nooks and crannies that you could never get by hand even with a brush. That's the genius of cavitation. So somebody decided that maybe you could clean records with cavitation and that resulted in the very first, the world's first cavitation based record cleaning machine which is the Audiodesk Vinyl Cleaner and this is the latest version Pro from Audiodesk Systems. All right, this machine costs about $4,200. And the way this machine works is you, it's all automatic, so you can have a life. It's not like you're sitting there cleaning records and saying, you know, I I'm a 50 year old guy and I'm cleaning records for an hour. I ha need to have a life. This will do it for you automatically. So you just put the record in the slot here. The chamber is now dry. All the fluid is in the bottom here. And the fluid includes a cleaning fluid that they give you. One little bottle goes each time that you uh, change the water and it changes the surface tension of the water as a surfactant and it helps to to emulsify uh, oily uh, deposits like your fingerprints that you're not supposed to get on your record but you do get your fingerprints on your record because you're sloppy, right? So this helps get those off. You put the record in there, you push the button once for the regular cleaning process or you can push it a number of different times to increase the cleaning process if you have a very dirty record. And this is completely automatic. It will clean the record and then dry it at the same time. And when it's over, it beeps and you're done. So you can have a life while the six or seven minute process takes place. All right, so I'm gonna start this. When I start it, the pump pushes the fluid out of the chamber at the bottom and into the vat on top. There are rollers here that will help distribute the fluid on the record and it will start up in a minute. There it goes. Sometimes you gotta push it down a little bit to get it started, which is fine. So, so now it's, it's cavitating. The fluid has little bubbles. This is not like a spin clean that's automatic. People, I've seen people online say, I can spend $79 and get a spin clean and do it by hand and save a lot of money. No, that is just a vat of water. This is a cavitation device. So it's a completely different animal. So now this record is spinning. It'll spin for a couple of minutes. So we will uh, be back with you as soon as uh, the next part of the cycle starts. All right, now it's in the next part of the cycle. The brushes have stopped, the rollers have stopped, and now it's just spinning. And now the water's draining back into the, into the uh, chamber. And the drying cycle has started at a slower speed. The fan comes on and it will take a few minutes to dry. And when that's done, we'll be right back. Okay, so it's finished, it beeped, you didn't hear the beep, and told me it's done, and now the record comes out, and it's it's dry, and you're ready to play it. It's just that simple, which is terrific for cleaning. Now, All right, so that's this. Now, there are other ways to cavitating cleaning. There's a machine called the, uh, the Ultrasonic V8 that some of you have seen, we have a video about it. That one costs, let me get my price sheet, Okay, so here's the price sheet. So the ultrasonic V8 costs uh, right now $1595 plus shipping and with the dryer it's about $2200. So it's a $2200 uh, cavitation device. It's, it's a little simpler than this. It's not quite as, com it's not nearly as compact and you know, but it's much, it's half the price. So that's something to be said. Now we're going to show you another alternative that's even less expensive to clean either single records with cavitation or multiple. Right, now records. we're going to explore cleaner vinyl, cleanervinyl.com. This is a, the least expensive cavitation system that I know of. And you begin by getting your own cavitation vat, which you can buy on Amazon or eBay or you can get it for about $179 from cleanervinyl.com. So this is a cavitation vat and we've poured the water in before we started. And this is the basic cleaner vinyl module. This is one record at a time. You can actually get an adapter to do two records at a time with this, but we're just gonna do one because it's the same process. 
So you pour the water into a certain level, that those are included in the instructions, and then you put the record on here like this, put this on here like this, and you lower it into the vat, like that. That's as I go. All right, now we want to set this for, he says, 15 minutes. And is it on? Yeah. That's scary. Now it's on. All right. So the cavitation has occurred for 15 minutes. I have to tell you that the noise, the zzz noise that it makes is very disturbing to my ears. So I will be using my dubs, which are acoustic filters in my ears, which still lets you hear, but it calms down the, the buzzing. The buzzing sound is very annoying, but that's what these things do. All right. So, so now what we would do is we're finished in the 15 minutes of cavitation. We would, we would turn this off. Oh, it was on. We would turn it off and then we would remove the motor. And now we would remove this from the water. And as you can see, it's still wet. So you have to dry it. So you would, you would uh, take paper towels, lay some out. I'm not gonna do it here. You would lay some paper towels out and you would put the record on the paper towels or, or use a microfiber cloth and you would dry it. How much dirt it would leave on it depends upon how clean your microfiber cloth is. So this is the simplest way of doing this. And what this costs to do it the simplest way possible is about $179 for the cavitation vat. And the cleaner vinyl one is uh, 108, this is $189. So you're talking about for about $600. So for $600, you are into cavitation. Look at the multiple cleaning device. This is $379 versus the original one that we did in the orange. And you can stack up to 12 records on here with these spacers that they provide you. And it's basically the same process, but you know, this, this makes a lot more sense really. One at a time for 50 minutes a piece, you know, your life's gonna not be so, so good. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this in here. We're going to set this for 15 minutes. And and again, the, uh, the man who makes this system says 15 minutes. I'm not sure why it, you need 15 minutes worth of cavitation since the other machines do it in maybe four or five. I don't know, but we're going to follow the directions. And when we're done, we're going to show you how you can use a dryer attachment to this to dry them at the same time. All right, be right back. So now the timer has finished the cavitation and the records are just aimlessly spinning in the water, which we don't really need to have happening. So we're gonna take the power away. All right, and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the fluid. So this is, this is the drying kit that they give you. And you begin by screwing this on lightly. Okay, lightly, that, that should be enough. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drain the water. So it takes more, there's more water in here than one container. So we're going to, but luckily we have the spigot that we can open and close. So we're going to drain this one full. You can use this water again. I mean, this, this is not water you're going to throw away. You can clean, uh, with the audio desk, you can clean 100 records. So no doubt you can run this thing many, many times before you have to change the water. There's no water filtration system in this. So, you know, to play it safe, the, the more often you drain it and change the water the better but water is not expensive luckily reverse osmosis water is what I use next we're going to attach the fan like that and what I'm gonna do is turn this unit sideways I'll turn the whole platform sideways if I'm careful, it won't fall over. <laughs> if it falls over, I'll leave it on camera. All right, now we're starting from the side. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start it spinning again. The fan is going, so this should speed up the process. Okay, so now the fan is blowing. Now you could say, you could get your own fan and just, you know, whatever kind of fan you have and, you know, raise it up high enough so we can get in there. You can do that. And this is supposedly gonna take 45 minutes approximately less if you have a surfactant in there to break up the surface tension so in other words in an hour you can clean up to 12 records 
And really, I don't think you want to do it one record at a time. They, they buy the single one, even if you double it two records at a time to take an hour, to, I think that's ridiculous. Twelve, on the other hand, is fairly attractive and the price is right. So this will go spinning now for approximately 45 minutes and we should have 12 cavitation cleaned records. So we'll be back when we're finished. Okay, okay we're, we're a half an hour later or 45 minutes, 45 minutes later. I, I lose track of time. And the records, looking in between, there's, I don't see any beaded water up at all. So we're going to carefully remove this. And that looks great. That looks like what cavitated records, if that's the proper word, cavitated, are supposed to look like. So this is the first time I've, oh, it looks like it's, it sits pretty fine. Let's see. Yeah. Looks great. These look really clean and not at all. Uh, no water is on them. So, so you know what? This is a way that you could have a cavitation machine for the price uh, a modestly priced vacuum operated machine. The total for this is it's about two hundred dollars, less than two hundred dollars for the for the vat, and it's going to cost you about four hundred dollars for the device that cleans twelve records. I think three eighty nine. So that's four and two is like six hundred dollars. And the fan now look, the, this works great, but the truth of the matter is, if you don't want to do this, you could make one of these yourself. Now, if you don't have time for that, like I don't, I would buy this. You get the fan and you get the tube and you're done. So this is another, uh, I forgot how much more this was because I have a sieve brain, but I have it written down so I can tell you. So the dryer is, oh, it's only 129. That's pretty reasonable. So you're talking about 379, 200 for the vat. That's uh, 579 and 129 for the dryer. And he, he probably sells the whole thing as a package on, on the cleaner vinyl website. I think this is for 600 bucks or so. You've got cavitation machine doing 12 records at a time. It's a cool thing. I recommend it.